Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Cast. Today we're taking a look at a game here between Light, the best Terran, and for my money, the best player in the world, going up against Free, one of the six dragons, still in very, very good shape, but one of those borderline cases, not always in ASL. Uh, you know, I think he's, he's very close to the level where he'll be in there all the time, but still a very... Uh, strong Protoss player. He's actually shown pretty good Protoss versus Terran uh, as of late, I feel like. Uh, we've we've casted a fair amount of his games on this channel, so uh, looking forward to seeing what he's going to do here on Citadel against Light. Uh, you know, thank you guys while we kind of wait here. I, you know, I always love to thank you guys for checking out the channel. It makes me so happy uh, that so many people love Brood War and want to see some games daily. So thanks very much for checking it out. It is very, very appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the, the comments. And I noticed a lot of people mention now, like, I uh, hope you have a good poop and whatnot. I should have never told you guys that. That was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you. It's, it's, always, it's always a pleasure uh, to check out those comments <laughs> while I have that downtime. All right. Anyways, uh, we are on Citadel, as I mentioned previously. Uh, I do like Citadel so far. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't think it's uh, too good for Terran. I I think it's a uh, I think it's fine honestly. Like out of the new maps, it's I think it's really reasonable. Um, it, it feels it feels pretty good. It can be a little bit tricky getting through the center and stuff, but we'll talk more about that as we get there. If this becomes like a big macro game, uh, neither player choosing to scout as of yet. Uh, this is particularly interesting from Light. Okay, there he goes. So that's just like... That is about seven seconds later than you normally scout with this build. Uh, now, you might wonder why I'm bringing this up. Because you're like, it's only seven seconds, Artosis, and you never talk about Protoss Scout. The thing is, Protoss can kind of scout at any time, and there's always a plan that goes with it. For Terran... Okay, so for instance, Flash once said the only reason to go for factory expansion ever is to counter Nexus first. Okay, so how do you counter Nexus first? What you do is you end scout on 13. That's making the end shape, right? You go this way and then you go this way. Because if it's cross spawn, the travel distance is too much and you can't rush. But if you end scout and you scout both close locations, then you can go ahead and bust the Nexus first. Now... He's not end scouting, and the, there's a reason behind this why he's not end scouting here, why he's not checking close spawns first. Uh, it's because he has some different plan. I bet you this is like a dropship play. And and here's why. If you scout like seven seconds earlier, like I mentioned, you can scout here and get to the natural before you have to decide if you're getting a third depot. Okay, you need a third depot to bust the Nexus first because you need to be producing nonstop Marines, Vultures, SCVs. And here you can see, notice how he's at like 24, 26, he, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, he's just, he, he would be unable to get here in time to see the Nexus to decide to make the third depot to rush it. So that's why he did what I call a box scout, where he just goes around uh, to all the corners of the map. So yeah, I know that that's like really a lot of information, but it's early game. And I feel like each time I say this and apologize, people are like, oh, I love the, the little nuances and the 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 small things that you're you're talking about in here whether it's map tile sets or in this case like a very intricate reason for scouting patterns now light comes in and he's getting blocked out he's seen three goons already so he's definitely going to start that bunker notice how he stops building the command center and he suddenly realizes oh god you already have three dragoons that's very fast this might be highly aggressive now his vulture got to about here so i think it just barely could not see if there was a nexus he is getting siege mode so and here's the thing, you never make three goons if you're not getting range. And if it's three quick goons the range, you must get siege mode right away. So this is actually very good. Now look at this, Free is trying to run past. Oh my God, Light almost blocks. Doesn't quite get it. Now he does bring up his SCVs. This actually might not be enough SCVs. Okay, he starts to pull more now. You have to get so many SCVs, you can body block and surround all the goons. And I feel like he was a little bit slow on how he wanted to go about doing that. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> lands the barracks, and this will stop more goons from running out. So this is actually turned out well. Notice he's surrounded this one. He's surrounded that one. The tank pops out. This goon is very low. 
So he did lose SCVs. Like there is there is some damage that has been dealt here to light. Uh, but 18 SCVs and a command center done versus no command over here. This this already looks really bad for for free. You know when he ran past and started getting SCVs, it was like okay, and he did kill those those workers. If his nexus had already been started, let's say he only went like three goons or something, then did that, it would make more sense. But now it's going to take him a while to build up the right goon count. Uh, so he already lost four goons. Like right now, he could have seven goons, right? And now even eight hitting this bunker. And one siege tank will kind of push it back. But if they get too close, you can run up and snipe the siege tank. As soon as you have six goons. Oh, God, he has a rally set up there still. That's bad. As soon as he has uh, six goons, you can one shot SCVs that are repairing the bunker. So I feel like free overplayed his hand here. It's not a bad build. Like this can be a very good build. It can be very tricky. It can catch players off guard. It kind of forces the game into a certain position where your opponent must go siege mode. And when you go siege mode, also you must go engineering bay. And that's the most turtled position you can get. So yeah, it's it's not it's not a terrible build. Like I don't I don't personally like it. I don't think it's something you should use too often. But yeah, it does seem like he overplayed that a bit. So light right now, I would definitely uh, consider him to be in a very strong position. You might be looking at this depot and saying, why is that happening? There is a follow-up to this two-gate range build, which is mass speed zealots. And if you do not put a depot in front of your bunker, you will die to it every single time. You actually have to do this. So light is countering everything right now. Okay, he's getting his armory up after the second factory. I think that that is perfect because uh, he does need to get those upgrades going. He's producing consistently here on the siege tanks, getting vulture speed. In fact, I was going to talk about this. This is probably the next best thing that you can do after you get your siege tanks out is to go speed vultures because you need to get on the map. If you look at what Free has forced Light into, what did I say, right? He forced him into siege tanks with siege mode. He forced him into a turtled position. He forced him into missile turrets. The one thing that doesn't go with any of this is scouting. You can't move out with any of this stuff, right? So to go speed vultures next so that you can just get out and scout makes a lot of sense. It's a lot cheaper than trying to do something like Academy right now. Right now, you just want to produce your SCVs nonstop, macro nonstop, and get that army size big so that you have potential to punish what Protoss is doing. Looking over at Freeze base, he is going for Reavers next. Uh... <clears throat> Does not go Reaver speed as of yet and starts his third nexus. Kind of an interesting third nexus location. I've seen a lot of people take this. I don't mind this at all, but the Vulture is going to find it and that's going to be highly annoying. Uh, he's going to lose that probe. And, you know, now now free or uh, rather uh, light knows what's going on. One thing to mention is the, the Reaver tech is right there. So if he had run up there, he would have been able to check this out really quickly. Now, does he have good defense? Yes, he really does. Damn, light is so good. He's crossing every T, dotting every I. Look at this. He has a Goliath ready. He has a, a missile turret here. He's got his vultures. Look at this. He already has the mine upgrade. Dude, light is just amazing. And putting a lot of damage here too. Right now, Freeze trying to get the Goliath. <laughs> Gets what he can. Gets what he can. Drops those zealots out, or one of them at least. But if you pick the Goliath, you can still harass pretty heavily. And you actually only want one Goliath here. Notice how he only made one. He didn't even start a second. You don't want multiples. It's like one is good. Lay your minds around. Get your defense up. It's just like the emergency unit. Anytime you're playing like armory missile turret, you generally want one Goliath uh, because that is going to cover where you don't have missile turrets without having to build too many of them. Okay, so right now the goon's coming down to clear this. We'll force, force that vulture out. Probes going to the third base. Equal in worker counts, but we will have better uh, mineral patch counts. It's not called saturation. I'm not actually sure what we call this, but there's basically more mineral patches. So even though we're very even on workers, mining is better right now for free. Now he's gone four gate robo with Reaver. Uh, he is getting shuttle speed, so that's good. You always do like to see shuttle speed. Now, I think that Light's build is basically perfect here. He's getting his Goliath range. He's going to want to make sure he has at least four Goliaths because four Goliaths will three-shot a shuttle. Uh, very, very important math there. If you have three, it takes an additional volley, and that's it just takes too long, like everything unloads. So, hmm. Uh, 
I, yeah, I just, I like Light's position, right? Like, it's not, it, the only thing I think that Free did wrong was the overcommitment at the beginning. This is a great follow-up that he's made, but his army is not really fantastic. You know, these five and six factory pushes that are so popular right now, one of the reasons is because Protoss can slow down a lot of stuff and, like, really expand aggressively when they have Reaver, but when you get a really big army, the Reaver doesn't do anywhere near as well. Right? Like you, yeah, he'll get a couple scares off. Yeah, he'll kill like a tank. But if you kill two Reavers in a shuttle and he's killed one to two tanks, you're way ahead there. So, uh, Light is getting enough. You can see that fourth Goliath come down. The Vultures, ooh, they actually run into the goons. Good catch there by Free. Taking him back a look at Free's base. This is the important moment. He's getting Zealots and he's making Zealot legs. If you can hit before legs, it's super, super strong for Terran. If they get Zealot legs and they haven't lost most of their army, it is absolutely something that Protoss can hold. I feel like that's the most important thing. Oh my god, he killed the shuttle. That's brutal. Light now can just go. Like, this is it. Rally Vulture non-stop. Get your units up into a good position. He can push somewhat slowly from here. He's very, very close. I think he'll probably push down in this direction. He has his eBay already here for vision as well and for tanking shots, but he definitely does have to rally a lot of vultures down because there's going to be a lot of charge zeal speed zealots, right? And when free has speed done, he has potential to bust this. Before this, before that, he does not. Look, he feels the pressure. He's actually moving forward before zealot speed is done. So you have all these slow zealots that are having a terrible time getting on top of the siege tanks. Now, he will eliminate, he loses a lot of Zealots and a lot of goons, but he will get rid of two tanks, I think? Or just barely not. I mean, oh, sorry, he got rid of three tanks, not four. Uh, so that's... Oh, that was not good. That was not good. This is exactly what you need to do by as light, is to force that engagement before speed is ready. If speed is ready, that engage looks way different. You would have killed at least three more siege tanks there, at least. Maybe holds the whole push. Uh, now, the Zealots come up, speed is done, but his army size is drastically smaller here. Moving forward, no, he's dead, dude. That, I tell you, it was a beautiful game from Light, and actually Free played very, very, very well. I think that there, there were two really big key moments running by the bunker with the three goons. If, you know, Light doesn't send enough SCVs, that can be strong, but he did send enough and surrounded. The second was losing the speed shuttle over here. You need to slow down this push so that you have time for your Zealot legs. Because again, if look, I, I want to just jump back just a little tiny bit here real quick, since it was kind of a quick game anyways. Okay, let's just take a look real quick. Okay, so obviously here, like I was saying, overall, this position is slightly light favored, right? He's got a very scary army. He's got all of his upgrades. You know, plus one, range, speed, mine, siege. He's got all of that. He's got comsat scanners. There's like a lot of good things going on for him right now. Right? There's three bases. We have the six gates with more on the way. And we have legs just started. So this is really the key thing. There's Here, here it is. Watch. Okay, so we'll speed this a little bit. Okay, right here. These need to slow the push. Now, he kind it looks like he attack moved forward with all of this as one group. That's what that looked like. Maybe he was doing a little bit of scouting at the shuttle, but there's Goliath range, and this is already damaged. So this is a big, big issue. Okay, the goons are kind of out of position. This, again, this has to slow that. If you can force two more sieges on the way, your legs will be done when they get here. So look, he tries again. He drops it out. He's trying to slow things, and bam, light just gets the shuttle. And now you're not forcing anything. It was just, it was a little bit greedy. If he, instead of dropping here, if he had just flown back here and dropped, picked a couple vultures, you know, the vultures and Goliaths might pull back slightly. You siege a couple tanks, you leapfrog forward, right? That's where you're buying the time. So if we just zoop down here, it, without Reaver on the map, you literally can just walk forward. So he walks forward. Okay, I wanna get up to this part right before the engage. Okay, that's okay. This is all okay. This is all okay. He moves forward. Okay, this is where he decided to engage. Let's take a look at how far along this is. Look, that's what I'm talking about. If you force the siege, like two more sieges on the way with your shuttle and reaver, this is done. Look at the actual army size, right? It is a lot of siege tanks. It is scary, but you have to reduce them better. 
Okay, we have 128 against 111. And don't forget, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gate. And obviously there's a robo producing. We won't even count that. But this is 14 supply every 25 seconds. Okay, because you're making zealots. Whereas this is 10 supply every 20 seconds if you're only making vultures and they have to rally across the map. And so, yeah, it, like if he had slowed this slightly, I actually think that Free gets into a, a really winning position because when you see him walk in, it just, the slow zealots do not do it. He would have pushed much further than that. He would have gotten this 100%. He would have gotten this, right? More units were coming. Uh, uh, well, these units would have already been there, but also he would have had another round himself. So yeah, that, that seems to be the mistake here from Free, but you can see how close he is to actually having kind of a bungled opening rush into holding on against a very strong push. Anyways, yeah, that was that was some heavy nerding out, but I, I enjoyed. I hope you did too. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.